Welcome back. In this video, we are again we are going to talk about another one of the important command of Unix, and name of that command is paste command. The job of the paste command is that it joins the multiple files and it arranges the file horizontally by separating the lines from one file to another with the help of a delimiter, and that will give us a required output. And the syntax of a join command will look like this. paste after that option and after that uh, file name okay now to practice the paste command i have created already one file cat names dot text you can see that here some names are given rohan mohan sita geeta steve matthew now if i will with, with will not use any type of an option and simply i will write paste names dot text then you will find it out that it is and the answer is pretty much similar what it gives in cat command okay now let's use option in in this option what i am going to do first of all i will clear the screen and option what i am going to use i am going to use hyphen s hyphen s means serial it will present the data in a serial for, serialized serial format for example paste hyphen s names dot text now you can see that so that is the job of a hyphen s command now here i can use both hyphen d and hyphen s you can see that hyphen d it is and hyphen s after pasting it out it is came as a simple only without anything but instead of that if i will use a comma here now you can see that all the names are differentiated with the comma rohan comma mohan comma sita comma geeta comma steve comma matthew so with the help of a comma separator i can differentiate in the serialization format now instead of comma if i wanted to give something else let's say horizontal tab that also i can do okay now instead of horizontal tab let's say uh, i wanted to line change see like that also you can do but by default if i am going to use then it will take any way line change what you have already seen now let's clear the screen now what if i wanted to see the value in a two section okay so how i am going to do the two section hyphen 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 names dot text now you can see that it is in two section now what if i wanted to see in a three section that also i can do now you can see that names are given in a three different section and you can also put a what you will say that uh, put up a delimiter instead of that tab space for example here let's give it to 2 and here i am going to use hyphen d and separator i want as a comma yeah comma now you can see that rohan comma mohan sita comma geeta steve comma matthew that also that way we can do or i can use the first as a comma and second as a semicolon how here i am going to take one more a uh, value three separated values i want to take in a serialization format and here i am going to take quote have d and semicolon now first one will be comma and second one will be semicolon see okay my mistake i have done a mistake here now i forgotten to close this one so let's close now you can see that rohan comma mohan okay after the semicolon sita now instead of that you can make it four just you have to add one more hyphen and here i am going to use double quotes let's see now you can see that here rohan comma mohan after that semicolon sita double quotes geeta like that and again we can see that steve comma matthew semicolon and after that double quotes but the details finished there so it did not work anything after that okay now another thing here i have created one more file the file name is cat name underscore marks dot text 
let's merge two files with a tab delimiter so paste i'm going to first of all write names dot text and here name space marks dot text so you can see that now if you wanted to change the delimiter as per your requirement we can you can do that just write like that see and if you want do not want it to this one you can change anything else for example line change if you want that also you can do line change it is there or what if you wanted to save the data in your output file so how we are going to do that just you will write like this and enter now open output file now you can see that all the output file it was got stored so up to whatever knowledge i have about paste command i have explained it to you now what we will do we will go to the hacker rank in which we will solve the linux cell paste command programming challenges okay so let's go there in this challenge the first programming challenge of paste one command it, it is saying that in this challenge we practice using the paste command to merge lines of a given file you are given a csv file where each row contains the name of a city and it's stayed separated by a comma your task is to replace the new lines in the file with semicolon as demonstrated in the sample input format you are given a csv file where each row contains the name of a city and its state output format replace the new lines in the output file with semicolon as demonstrated in the sample okay so i have to uh, this same this is the sample input file and this is the sample output file and in the sample output file is delimiter as a semicolon it is given correct so we already know what we are going to do we will write first of all paste after that hyphen d and quotes inside semicolon and after that file name should be there but we don't need file name because uh, hacker and console will automatically take the command let's check okay output is wrong it is coming okay i forgot to mention hyphen s hyphen s for serial right step test case sample test case zero got successful now submit the code okay the both the test cases got successful now let's go to the second programming challenge of paste command all right in this programming challenge we practice using the paste command to merge lines of a given file you are given a csv file whereas each row contains the name of a city and its state separated by a comma your task is to restructure the file so that three consecutive rows are folded into one line and are separated by semicolons okay Uh, input format you are given a csv file where each row contains the name of a city and its state are separated by a comma restructure the file so that three consecutive rows are folded into one line and are separated by semicolons so that three consecutive rows right okay so we know how to make the consecutive rows in a fixed consecutive rows first of all what we am going to write paste hyphen d again delimiter here is also semicolon after that three consecutive rows it says so instead for three consecutive rows for i have to mention three hyphen right first second and third let's run the code here okay test case zero got successful now let's submit the code both the test cases got successful so our second programming challenge also got solved now what we will do we will go out to third programming challenge of paste command okay here in the third challenge it says given a csv file where each row contains the name of a city and its state separated by a comma your task is to replace the new lines in the file with tabs as demonstrated in the sample you are given a csv file where each row contains the name of a city and its state separated by a comma replace the new lines in the input with tabs as demonstrated in the sample okay this is the sample input file and this is the sample output file so it is given us tab space i think so let's try that one paste hyphen s submit let's see what happens 
by default test case zero got successful by default a tab space it will take now let's submit the code okay both the test cases got successful now let's go to the fourth problem Here in this fourth problem it says given a CSV file where each row contains the name of a city and it's separated by a comma. Your task is to restructure the file in such a way that three consecutive rows are folded into one and separated by a tab. You are given a CSV file where each row contains the name of a city and its state separated by a, a separated by a comma. Output format restructure the file in such a way that every group of three consecutive rows are folded into one and separated by a separated by tab now sample input is given and sample output again it is tab it, space it is taking so what we will do paste hyphen second hyphen third hyphen by default it should accept i think let's see yes by default tab space is accepted now submit the code here both the test cases got successful. So all the four programming challenges of hacker rank of Linux cell of paste command got successful. And also this is the end of this video. In this video we learned about the paste command and many other and through that we have seen different different examples and also we solved the programming challenges of hacker rank. Again in the next video again we are going to talk about another one of the important programming challenges of Unix command. So stay tuned and keep watching Adyan channel. Thank you.